Welcome back to the Tiny Tech Home. I'm Ben Davies and I'm on the naughty step once again talking to you about Lutron RA2 Select. We are on part three, the programming. We've installed our smart dimmers in the roof. We've put our Picos on the wall and our hub is connected to the network. So all we've got to do now is make it work. And holy shit balls is this system fast to set up. So let's not muck around with it and get on with it. <laughs> So let's get the app up somewhere there and go through how quickly it is to install these dimmers and picos onto the Lutron system. So first page you'll see we've got a getting started, sign in and a contractor's mode. So we want to be going into the contractor's mode, the sign in's for your clients. Once you're finished with uh, setting everything up on the contractor's mode, you actually hand over to your client and give them a username and password. So it's, uh, it's super, super simple to set up. So let's go into the contractor's mode. It's asking you to set up the system. So we, yeah, okay, we're on the installer's contact information here. So this is all the information you put in as a business. So if the customer has a problem or sells a house and the next person that owns that property needs to get in touch with you, all your details will be there and it gives a bit of kudos, a bit of kind of professionalism to the system. So let's go and move on to the next bit. It says, okay, please install your Lutron devices using the instructions with, with your device. So we've already installed the dimmers in the ceiling on episode two and we installed the Picos or we did a wiring for the Picos on episode one. So we pulled the feeds through on the switches so that the, uh, the main circuits, the spotlights were permanently live and we installed the dimmers, the smart dimmers onto those spotlights. So that's already done. I'll put a link up above if you want to watch those. And so next, we are plugging in our hub, so our small hub that comes with the starter kit or if you buy it as a, as a secondary item, that needs to be plugged into your wireless router and plugged in on power and as soon as you've done that, it's basically going to start looking for the system. Right, steady easy, it's just looking on the network and saying, can I see your hub on there? And as soon as it does that, it'll ask you to press the small button on the rear of the device. And so, there we go. Give me two seconds and I'll run there and run back. Okay, so let's name that house. First thing to do, we're gonna have this as the tiny tech home. Every time I do that. Um, and press next. And so it's giving you a time zone and a location. The location is useful. Um, only reason being is that we can set up kind of away modes and home modes based on your location or your phone's location. So it's really kind of critical that that's, uh, that's right and that's what it needs to be. So let's go next on this. And so straight away, we're going into adding devices. And how the way, the way that the app works is that you don't set up rooms and the spotlights and then add the device to the spotlights or the scene. You actually add the device and then from that device you add the room and the, the, the light fitting or the spotlights or the cabinet, the cabinetry lights, whatever it is, as you're going through each device. So what we'll do now is, it says to find the inline dimmers. And the nice thing about the Lutron RA2 system is, you can set it up without having to go around and press buttons to ID devices. It literally will search the, the, for the smart devices in your ceiling and it will bring up the devices on the Lutron app. So see here we've got three devices, which is actually right. We've got the main spots in the lounge, the main spots in the kitchen, and we've got some under Pelmet LED strips under the cabinet. So I know that if I press the flash on the 131, that will do the spotlights above my head. So we can add that by pressing add. We select the room, being kitchen, press next, and there are the ceiling lights and the main ceiling lights. And then that's it. It gives you a little flash to say, okay, you've programmed me in, and I'm done. And that's that added. So let's do the other two devices because we know that they're there, because it's already seen them. So the 558 is our under LED cabinets. So I'm looking at those now and they're doing a little flash and we add those kitchen 
next. So there are cabinet lights and under cabinet lights and press next. We have a little click, you might hear that behind. And that's, that's done, finished. So that's this room uh, until we add some more circuits to it, kind of completed from a lighting perspective. And then we'll finally add our lounge uh, spotlights, which we'll do now. Living room, next. Ceiling lights, main, next. And that's that done. As simple as that, really, really, really rapid to kind of get the lights up and going. Now, if we didn't have any Picos in here, we could literally say, that's it, I'm done to adding devices. And we could control those off the app, you know, and ramp them up, ramp them down, set scenes. But we've got Picos in here. And now we can't search for the Picos, we actually have to press the button. But that's fine, because it's a switch and it's on the wall, it's not drivers in the ceiling, all the rest of it. So let's add the device. And you see there we've got Pico remotes. Now, in our house, we've actually asked for a couple of the different uh, Picos that they offer. So there's the standard switch, which I'll show you just there. So that's like an on, off, up, down, and then scene button in the middle. And then you get the scene ones like there is here for the lounge, which is like a four button scene. So an on and off, a kind of chill scene and a, and a boozy scene. I don't know what a boozy scene is, but I'm, I'm up for it. And then we've got a our home and away buttons for the front door. So it's just super simple. You know, we've got, when we leave, we're gonna press the away button, it'll turn all the lights off in the house. It'll also know if there's the other, um, the other people in the house because our phones will all be tied to it. When we talked about the GPS location beforehand, that's where that kind of comes in. So yeah, to set up a Pico, super simple. Let's bring it back up again. Pico remote and we're going to be pressing the bottom switch for about 10 seconds and then in the top corner the little led starts flashing wildly and then straight away it comes up kitchen next and that's the keypad done because you add the scenes and you you manipulate the scenes kind of after you've got everything in and let's do the main switch for the kitchen so add another device Pico remote, press and hold, and you'll see it will come up in a second, it'll start flashing like crazy, there we go. Again, choose the room, this is the kitchen, next, and it's going to do the lights, we haven't got any shades in here yet, but that will be coming soon. And let's just do the living room one as well, so the living room one, the living room one, it's a Pico remote, it's this one here, it's a scene setting one. Get you back in focus a little bit. Press and hold, press and hold. Start flashing, boom, done. So we add that to the living room, next. So straight away, once I press, I'm done adding these devices. It takes a couple of seconds, maybe even a minute, just to kind of configure everything. So the Lutron app that knows that the Picos are tied to the certain circuits within the room. But once that's done and dusted, straight away, you can just press the on and off and turn the lights on it in each room. Once you've kind of finished with um, setting everything up, then we can dive into the scenes and the schedules. But I'm gonna do that in another video because then otherwise this ends up being 25 minutes long, which it doesn't need to be. So that is your how quick, probably less than five minutes to get three dimmers, smart dimmers up and running with three switches up and running. So I'll see you next time when we'll look at scenes and schedules. Bye.